God, we thank you again for this very special day, and in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, um, yeah, that was fun.
as you leave this arena today, to be compassionate about what you do, good in acts of kindness, always with an open heart. Take it upon yourself to be an inspiration for others as you strive for greatness. My challenge, as it has been for many years for those graduating, is very simple. Expect the extraordinary. Remember, the journey to success is not about the success, it's about the journey itself. Les Brown, a renowned motivational speaker, said this, Always shoot for the moon, for even if you miss, you land among the stars. Congratulations, class of 2013. You're an outstanding group of individuals. We're so proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations again.
the, the whole thing, like even after all the credits, we don't leave until the last note of the soundtrack, not until the very last copyright note on the screen. It takes time to sit through all those credits. There are tons of credits for movies nowadays. There are hundreds of different jobs you need to make a movie, and often a lot of different people share one job, so the credits wind up having thousands of names. There are obvious jobs like actors, directors, producers, special effects guys, and there are the not so obvious jobs like the grips and the negative cutters and gaffers. What's a gaffer? Like, like you know someone who works in Hollywood and they say, hey, I worked in that new Iron Man movie, and you're like, no way, what'd you do? They say, oh, I was a gaffer. Like, I'm sorry to hear that, but what was your job for the movie? Heck, I went to go see a movie recently, and someone was in the credits. Someone was in the credits as caffeinator. I can give my name on the big screen by serving coffee. Sign me up for Man of Steel. I go. At some point, I realized that these people with the weird jobs didn't get their names in the credits just because of some crazy movie law that says who needs to be in credits. Their name and their job were put there because they did something important. Something that we learn in team sports, and in band, and cheerleading, and theater, or anything else that involves more than one person, is that each person is important. Yeah, some people are more visible, or get talked about more often. People talk a lot about a football team's quarterback, and it's easy to see the band's drum majors doing crazy things with big metal sticks in front of everyone. But those guys aren't more important than others. They just have a different job. Without someone to play each position on the field, you won't win many games. Without someone to play each little part in the music, you're not going to have an award-winning band. Johnny Manziel won the Heisman Trophy. But he couldn't have shined so much without good receivers to throw to. And a and wouldn't have had an 11-win season without a great defense to stop the other teams. That player who intercepted the potential game-winning touchdown pass against Alabama sure was important. But so was every other member of the defense, because they allowed him to be in just the right place at just the right time. For that moment to happen, everyone had to do their job. Not a single one was more important than the rest. When you look at building a wall, a, a big wall, like the Great Wall of China, if you pick out a brick and say, that brick, that brick right there. We can build a wall without the other bricks, but we gotta use that brick. Y you don't say that, no. Each brick is needed to hold up that wall, just like each player is needed to play the game, or each musician is needed to play the music, or each gaffer is needed to gaff things. I know some of you are thinking, Benjamin, Bro, I don't want to be just another brick in the wall, I want to be my own person. But that's the beautiful thing. Those bricks may all look like each other from far away. A wide receiver may look just like any other wide receiver on a roster, and a trumpet player may look like any other trumpet player on a uniform. But when you get closer, you see that each brick has its own unique texture. Each player has their own strengths and weaknesses, and their own character. Even every coffee guy does things differently than the last one, and those things make him special. And at the end of the day, when the wall is built and the game is over, for better or worse, that brick, that player can say, look what I've done. Look what I've helped to do. And they couldn't have done it without me, even if my part was small. You can be important, and you can be part of that wall, part of that team, and you can still be special. Never just another brick. Each one of us is important. I'm pretty dang visible right now, but that's just because of some number that's supposed to show how well I did in school, not because I'm more important than anyone else sitting in this Coliseum. Everyone is important. Maybe your job isn't very visible. Maybe people don't know you're important. Maybe you don't know you're important. But you are. And as long as you strive to do your best of whatever it is you wind up doing, someone will notice. It may take a long time. It may not be until the end of your life when your story's over and the credits begin. 
someone takes time to sit through all your credits, not leaving until the last note of the soundtrack, not until the very last copyright notice on the screen. That someone will know you had a role to play, that you made a difference, that you were important. Now it's time for us to begin the part of our lives that determines what credits we're in and where our names are. Because everyone's in the credits somewhere. Everyone is important. Thanks and giggling.